What is your course on Deep Astrology and Cosmology? Deeper Astrology and Cosmology is when we actually meditate on each of the planets and the constellations and get a feel for all their elemental energy as opposed to, say, for something like Mercury, to get a real feel for the air aspect of Mercury or Hermes, as it were. Or, for example, if you're working with Aphrodite or Venus, that energy of that planet, you would be meditating and getting a really deep aspect of the planet. And it's the same with the constellations, and that will enhance our own astrology and astronomy because we talk about you know the size and the energy there's the physicality of the planet its astral and mental concepts that work with it and how that works with the tree of life the cosmology is the synthesis of all this and also getting to connect with the ancient star races and star beings that seem to have some sort of intervention in many of the ancient stone temples and uh, structures that we have on this planet for example obviously the the, the big pyramid structures have a very strong connection to Orion and the belts of Orion, belt stars of Orion, and there's a big connection to the Pallades, Andromedans, and Acturians. So the cosmology of that's going to be the synthesis of our current models of astrology. Well, we're talking about the tropical zodiac, the sidereal zodiac, and also uh, the Vedic system and accuracy. You can work with it with all your apps as well. The, the, the modern day apps are going to enhance that, plus a connection to the, the, the deeper star law, you know, the keys to Sirius and the dog star, all that. So that's what this is going to be about, you know, deeper astrology and cosmology. Should resonate with a lot of people that are really seeking this knowledge. What is the difference between how we will be perceiving the planetary energies or cosmological energies uh, with how you're teaching versus uh, learning in an intellectual fashion about the cosmos? By using meditation and working with one's own body, their physical, mental, and the astral body, and working with the chakras, they can really tune in and get a feel for the planet themselves. They'll get to understand it. For example, the magnetism of the moon and how it connects to the tides and fluids like that, and how important that is because of the physicality of the the human body is made up of a series of fluids so we're about i don't know 75 to 80 percent fluid something along those lines some say 90 percent but those different layers of fluid everything from your blood to your perspiration your tear ducts and all your reproductive fluids plasma etc these liquids have a, a powerful aspect in our daily life right at the nanosecond right through to the whole lifetime of the soul as it were in this physicality so with that, we want people to get a real feel of what each of these planets and constellations do as our sun, our solar system, is wired into our own body. Like, as they say with the ancient Elohim, we want them to get that feeling of the solar system so that they can understand how the solar system's moving with our sun through the big 12, as it were, the other 12 constellations growing and how that's being affected by the other stars as well. So that's as best as I can explain it at this point in time to actually get into the work and these advanced cosmological meditations. It's going to be awesome. Brilliant. I love doing it.